what we see in here is a vacuum toilet vacuum toilets are very efficient technology they use very little water and they are more hygienic because they suck the air so they suck the air and spread instead of spreading the air around and the splashes of bacteria they suck it all in and they save up to 90% of water 80% at least let's see how it works for the people who didn't know before so just for example it would be like a little bit of paper and there is like a button just press the button now water enters the toilet and a little bit more water so that small amount of water was sufficient enough to flush the toilet just like one cup or one and a half cups or maybe two cups of water it's very very efficient and later on one can also wash the hands but it's not connected it's probably you wash the hands a little bit and that water is filtered through in for the toilet inside there is the vacuum we can see on the sides there is like a tubes for the vacuum somewhere built behind let's see once again how it works oh toilet paper fell wow not good not good so the whole idea of the vacuum toilets that the trains the ships the aircraft don't have to carry that much water they can save the space and the, they can save the weight so we all can travel in safety in comfort and quality and at a lower price let's try once again button press water in wait a few seconds and lift off into the space yes the trash and the residue did travel into the different dimension into the dimension of vacuum you can be very happy about this technology and I think this technology should be available in shopping centers, large office buildings because it will save uh, it automatically press the button when you just press the just like that, one cup, one half cups of water so if you had this technology, this vacuum toilet in the office buildings imagine how much water would the office building save or imagine we had this in a shopping center imagine how much water would save the shopping center so the vacuum toilets they're very important for the protection of the environment and for the protection of water and they also are easier to clean because they almost self clean by the vacuum suction I don't want to demonstrate this with chocolate and the poo but you can imagine that it sucks the amount of all the soft things that are inside you will suck them in and then it's not gonna be splashing so it's easier to clean the bathroom for the for the people it saves uh, the natural resources it saves money it saves time for the maintenance like the cleaning of the toilet some of the vacuum toilets they have like a brush in here and it rotates and when it rotates it cleans the seat some of them are like preheated a little bit depends on the model this is a basic model for the train it's actually inside of the train on the ship the same on the aircraft a little bit more advanced i think that should be part of every shopping center and every office building every government building wherever there are many people who work there and use the bathroom very frequently tell us all what you think what do you think where should the vacuum toilets be placed where they should be located do your own experiences and for once let's try one thing let's say we close the lid some people are afraid of the issue noise issue they are like freaked out by the noise issue let's say we close the lid and then we press the button what happens so you 
bit like he did like a little bit of noise. So in case you are afraid of the noise of the vacuum toilet, you just cro close the lid and you won't hear that much. Some people are freaked out by that noise and the movement and the, the swift movements, but all the rest of us they're very fine with it and we like it. Give it a thumbs up, like it, share, subscribe. I don't care if you subscribe or don't subscribe. But tell all the people what you think about the vacuum toilet technology and if it's a useful one and where should it be placed. Where is a good idea to place a vacuum toilet? Thank you for watching, thank you for supporting the Creative Commons movement. Remember to have fun and protect nature. bathrooms door closed let's block it that's the official bathroom for the discapacitated people the people who have their seat always with them or just if you it's the restaurant bathroom which is more large like in other trains there are bathrooms that are always like that and this train is just like this. Once again, a vacuum toilet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. About 10 seconds flush. That's it. It's just a little bit more convenient. Hello, mother. Hello, mother. I'm in the mirror. What we see in here is a standard western toilet or just the toilet that people use at homes with some flowers on top. Let's put the flowers away and let's see how it works in comparison to the vacuum toilets. Let's drop one ball of paper into the toilet. Go, safe travels, I hope you find what you look for in the sea on your journey. Some soaps for the decoration and let's flash one. In this particular model, it's a more efficient model. There is one for the pee flash and one for the poop flash. So this one flashes a little bit and this one flashes more. Let's see the flash with one. So I can press it, it is gonna flash. Let's see, I press one. I remove the, the finger and it only flashes as long, the one only flashes as long as I press one. This is a very efficient model. It's like three liters per large flash. And you also can also regulate inside. There is a special mechanism which is operated by buttons and water. So I just hold it and as long as I hold it flashes. I remove the finger it stops flashing. So it's like a small flashes for the P. It's a more efficient model. Let's see I, I do small flashes. One, 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 another one. Another one, another one. So this toilet allows me to have the flashes that are regulated by volume. I can have two options and I can press the larger flash. Which is going to flush all of the water. So the basic content of the water is gonna be this size, it's like six to eight liters. This one is adjusted to 6 liters. In comparison to the vacuum toilets, it's less efficient, but because you can have the amount of water for the pee, you can kind of flush it a little bit. So you can also save on the water. 
and there are also toilets which have come in the same form factor as this one but on the bottom they will have a vacuum chamber which will activate whenever you flush so there is a special vacuum chamber just like in the toilet in the train or in the aircraft there's going to be some vacuum generated there's going to be always some water and when you press the button the vacuum just sucks it into another into the chamber and then push it push it pushes the the waste into the pipe just like as this toilet the only difference is that there, there is a vacuum chamber or alternatively there is also a toilet that operates with a screw with a mechanical screw that when you press a button there is an, a me mechanical electric Archimedes screw which rotates 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 and pushes the waste into the into the pipe so in this way you can save water let's say you flush one and a half liters just to clean it up a little bit so it will save you 90% of water 80% of water and this type of toilet is very needed for the office buildings and shopping centers and the commercial bathrooms which are very very frequently in use some of them are more than 1000 times in use so imagine 80 percent of savings for a toilet that is used 1000 times every day 36,000 a year that's a, that's a lot of savings so if you like it you can also comment and then make suggestions or name some other models or some toilets bathrooms that you have seen that are more efficient some people just poop poop and pee in the in the woods yes that's more efficient but it's not obtainable to the billions of people who live on earth uh, i think there's going to be more and more models bathroom models that come with preheated heating that kind of generate vacuum push it out into the pipe it doesn't have to be like a special system all of the vacuum and all of the mechanical things can be integrated into one uh, if you want to look at the, into it look at the toilets and the bathrooms that people use and the boats because the boat cannot be connected uh, to the drainage system to the pipe that they have so the toilets and the boats they function like kind of like a vacuum you pump 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 you generate the vacuum and then it sucks or you pump it manually or there are some other ones that you can have a rotating like a shaft and then you rotate it and there is a archimedes screw which manually pushes the the waste from below to to the pipe into the sea or into a special container or there are also some models which are kind of newly invented that you can move the lid and then the lid rotate rotates a little barrel so you move the lid and the barrel rotates half like 180 degrees a half a rotation and then the, it drops the waste and it pushes the waste all the time kind of manually by by pressure of the of the barrel which is a waterless system and people would use wood chips for it but i would prefer water the future of toilets is going to be vacuum toilets or those toilets that have the archimedes screw or if you don't have the toilet with the button that can portion that can create portions of the flushing you should get one you can use the same same thing the the only difference is just the mechanism inside is different i wish i could show it but I, I won't open it so you just unscrew this part or i can lift it i can lift it up a little bit yeah you see the button yeah there is the button and there is the mechanism let's get some more light so that's the mechanism water comes in water comes out the only difference is that's a more efficient mechanism which is operated by the button 
and it's a mechanical mechanism here is a cable which lead to uh, leads to the system which has two settings one flash that stops whenever you remove the pressure from the button and one that flashes all the way through and this is the amount of water that this toilet uses about six five liters I hope you get one, even if you don't get the vacuum toilet, get a more efficient mechanism, save water, save the nature. Have fun, make your comments and make suggestions or make your experiences with other technology that other people can benefit and that we can all get along into the nicer future. And now let's see some what happens if we flush. If you flush one small ball of paper into the ocean. Also, I should probably wear some pants, but then again, who cares? I'm in the bathroom. Mm, let's see. This small piece of paper. Let's do this and let's flash it and let's see what happens.